Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Taisha. Thank you so much for clicking on today's Get Ready With Me. I hope you guys are doing well. So today, you guys, I'm showing you how to get this beautiful fall soft glam makeup look and also this hair. I haven't done my hair like this, like this curly in a while. So, you know, I am loving it. I'm also going to show you guys my outfit of the day. And yeah, guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, so I'm doing a voiceover for the eyeshadow portion. I wanted to try something new. Hopefully you guys like it. So I'm starting off by priming my eyes with the e.l.f. eyeshadow primer. Or no, this is not the eyeshadow primer. It's a concealer. And then I'm taking my Makeup by Mario palette. So I told you guys about this palette on my Instagram page. And I said it was cute. You know, it's cute, but it's not worth the money. And you guys will see why. I do go into a lot of these shadows like a lot of different times it's a palette you have to go in back and forth you know to get the pigmentation you want so yeah I'm just going in with a fluffy brush and applying that on my crease this is the Sonia Kashuk I think it's called the rounded crease brush and then I'm gonna grab that color right there this palette it is really really beautiful and this one is the tapered blending brush once again from Sonia Kashuk and I'm just gonna apply this here on the crease and then I'm going to take the first brush we use and I'm going to use that to blend everything. Okay, I'm grabbing the OG ColourPop Yes Please palette. You guys, this palette I think was one of my first ones that I actually used all the time. As you can see, or you can even go back to my older videos and I will use this palette a lot. So I'm just going to mix those two shadows and I'm going to place it on the outer corners but mostly use it as eyeliner as you guys can see um i feel like voiceovers i can explain a little bit better than just like talking you know and this is the elf brush from the jay kissa collection okay so i'm gonna grab a little bit more concealer and i'm gonna use that to cut the crease one tip you guys that i can give you when you're cutting the crease is to grab a clean blending brush afterwards and kind of like remove some concealer in the outer corners you know like in the outer parts like that the eyeshadow actually blends into the concealer so yeah that's like a little tip for you guys and then i'm going in again with the masters palette Ma i think that's what it's called the masters palette and i'm just gonna apply a lot of the y shade again it does take a lot of like back and forth to get this look but it is super super simple Okay, and then I'm gonna go in once again with the palette and I'm gonna grab this beautiful rustic color. This is what inspired this whole look and you guys will see my outfit later on in this video and it, it inspired it as well. So I'm just grabbing that and putting it as eyeliner again and then I'm gonna grab those two shades and I'm gonna use it right above it like to blend everything in, to blend the lid and the crease and the liner part you know just to blend everything in and just to darken it up just a little bit more i'm grabbing those two darker shades just a little bit because i don't want anything too intense you know okay uh, of course i'm using my favorite mascara from essence i love using this for my lower lash line as well because it creates a really like dramatic effect and for lashes today i'm gonna go in with Luxie lash in the style homegirl they are on sale right now i just picked more up so get them now because they are a lot more affordable Alright guys, so I went ahead and finished the eye makeup. Hopefully you guys like the voiceover. I just wanted to do it differently this time because why not, you know, try something new. So you guys, I love the way it turned out. It's like the perfect fall soft glam makeup. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and move on to the face. I'm just going to prime my face with the Heart Candy Hydrating Primer. My skin, you guys, is doing so much better. My eczema flare up. Um, I did put, I think, I forgot, cortisone or something like that. I put that on my skin 
and it went away but i did buy the cerave healing ointment and since a lot of you guys recommended it to me i'm just waiting for it to arrive so thank you guys for all your recommendations so you know my skin has been a little bit more on the drier side but still oily so i really do like this primer because it hydrates my skin it doesn't really make my makeup last a long time but i still like the way it feels so i'm gonna move on to foundation i did self tan so i have no idea what color i am but i'm gonna go in with drugstore first if not i'll go in with my rare beauty foundation that i love so much you guys rare beauty i forget the name of this foundation but it's so so good so i'm gonna try the maybelline matte and poreless foundation in the shade 310 and we'll see if this works and i'm gonna blend everything out with my shop miss a beauty sponge i did just place an order and i think they're having like their 11 11 sale and this beauty sponge is so good like this is the perfect time you guys to buy makeup because it's the holiday season and also black friday and you can get a lot of good deals let me know if you guys are going to be doing any black friday shopping of course online um i'm gonna be checking out ulta i think sephora does have a sale but i don't really need anything from sephora maybe if the sale is good enough i'll buy a rare beauty different shade so i need to go you know and buy it but again, it is like $20, so that's a lot of money. So I'm going to go ahead and just reapply a little bit more of the Maybelline foundation. I think this color matches me pretty good. 310, it's like a really good match for me when I'm not tan. I think it does match me. I'm going to be going in with the Cover FX Concealer in the shade G+, medium 2. I got this on sale from Sephora. And I've been really liking it. I saw Am Reese using it. You guys, I love, love, love her. Ever since high school, I love the way she does her makeup. She's just like an OG. So I saw she's using this on her tutorial and I wanted to try it out. And it was on sale. It's very lightweight. It's perfect because it's super hydrating. And the coverage is very nice. It's just like a pretty concealer. I'm gonna go ahead and contour my skin as well with the RCMA makeup in the shade Shinto. I'm gonna grab a little contouring brush. This is the old Morphe brushes when they used to say E8. I feel like this were like really nice brushes. So I'm gonna put it right here. I like mixing these two shades of the palette. And I like to put it here on my forehead especially like it creates a very nice like warm tone color and then with the other side of the beauty sponge i'm gonna blend out my concealer let me know what are your plans for thanksgiving you guys i miss my grandma so much she does live here in texas with us she moved here like five years ago from puerto rico and but i cannot like hug her or anything so i do miss her so much we're protecting her so much you know, we tell her she cannot go to the stores, but you know, they're already like set in her way. So she tries to like sneak out of her home and we get so mad at her. Let me know what your plans are for Thanksgiving. We're probably going to make some dinner. Oh my God, my sponge went all the way over there. Let me grab it. Okay, you guys, I'm back. So we're probably going to be making some Thanksgiving dinner. I do. I make the arroz con gandule. So I'm going to make that. I'm going to make my yuca, which I like with garlic. And then I'm also going to be... I don't cook the turkey. I cannot do meat like that. It makes me like... It just grosses me out. I don't know why. But my sister does that one. I'm going to be going in with this powder that I recently got from Amazon. It's the Cream Shop Powder in the shade Banana. So I'm going to be grabbing this color right here. Nice color too. So I think it will work for darker skin tones to give you like that really brighten up effect. Which I think looks so beautiful in darker skin tones. I love that look. You know how it's like super brightening and then their nude lips. It's just gorgeous you guys. I love it. So I'm just going to grab my beauty sponge and I'm just going to bounce this. You guys see how blurring this is? Look at that. It's so pretty and blurring. The Honey Powder by Laura Mercier, it's a little bit more darker than this one. So I think even lighter skin tones can use it because it's not super yellow. So I'm going to grab my little bronzer. I don't know why I call things little all the time, but this is the Fenty Beauty Island Thing Bronzer. I love this color because again, it's super warm. And I'm going for that warm look today. I don't know if you guys are noticing that, but I really 
I'm trying to look like a bronze, you know, warm goddess. That's what I want for today. I'm just gonna be applying this here. I am gonna drag it down because I am gonna be wearing a dress. I will show you guys my OOTD in this video as well. But for blush, um, you've seen my Lunar Beauty Blush Palette, the Moon Prism Blush. And I think I'm gonna be mixing this, this, and this color right here. This reminds me a lot of MAC Formula. So I really, really like it. So I'm just gonna be mixing all of this and applying this going upwards. This is my small point blush from Sonia Kashuk. When you're doing a soft glam effect, you do want to contour your nose and connect it to the eyeshadow. I feel like soft glam is matte. It's also, to me, I don't know, you know, everybody's different, but to me, it's matte and very detailed. I feel like that's what soft glam is. Oh, by the way, you guys, I don't know if you noticed, I removed my nails. Well, that sounds like I actually like removed my nails, but I changed into short nails again. Since I am going to be cooking, I wanted my short nails. I always wear press-ons. I always get questions about them. This right here are the Kiss ones I always tell you guys about from Target or Walmart. They're $5, but the ones when you see me wearing them long, those are from Bunny Press Nail Press on Nails on Etsy. She's amazing and she created like the most amazing design. So every time you see me wearing long press on nails, they are from her. So I'm just gonna go ahead and before I finish off my eyes, I'm gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish. I now finally see why everybody likes this powder. It's actually very nice and it's uh, really, really blurring. And I'm just gonna put this here underneath my eye area. And it just creates a more brighten up effect and also it blurs out my pores. So I do recommend it, but it's because it is so expensive, you know. And I don't really like spending that much money on one product, but it is worth it. Like it makes your makeup, it elevates your makeup once again. So I'm going to go ahead, you guys, and finish the lower lash line with you all. So I'm just going to do what I did to the top pretty much and just do that to the bottom as well. I finished off the eyes. I did add a little bit of the L'Oreal Eye Pencil. This is like a nude color in the shade... I think this is just called nude. I'll link it below. So I'm going to go ahead and do my lips with you guys. Okay, so I've been loving you guys. The KKW birthday suit. It's just like my go-to right now. But it doesn't last a long time like by itself. So just to make it last a little longer, I'm going to go in with Maybelline Driver. Remember, these lipsticks are super sticky. So you may not like them. So I am going to grab... Let's do MAC Cork with a little bit of MAC Sweet... I mean, of Morphe Sweet Tea. So I'm going to go ahead and set my face later on because I am going to do my hair. So for setting spray, I think I'm going to use, I'll use this one. I'll just set it right now, right? So I'm just going to be taking my Heart Candy Matte Setting Spray, 12 hour wear and oil control. So I'm like scared. I don't know why I'm scared. So we're going to move on to the hair. So I went ahead and sectioned off my hair. This is going to be curled flat iron curls, okay? That's what they're called. I used to do this all the time back in high school. So I'm super excited to do it again. So all you're going to do, you guys, is section your hair off. You're going to grab your straightener. Um, I already went ahead and added heat protectant. I always use the same silk elements one. So I'm going to go ahead and section it off. And then I'm going to grab my straightener. And what you're going to do is you're going to... Put the straightener on i'm gonna try my best to explain it to you guys so you're gonna put your straightener on like this like if you're actually gonna flat iron your hair but instead you're gonna go like this you're gonna flip your hair going like that and then you're gonna flip the curling iron as well so i'm gonna call this a and then b okay so i'm grabbing a i'm gonna go like this like if i'm gonna flat iron my hair but i'm gonna grab b flip my hair around grab a and then go like this so it looks like it's straight and going down so again remember the faster you go the looser the curl 
the slower you go and the tighter the curl, okay? I'm gonna grab my flat iron. This is A, this is hand A, and this is hand B. So I'm gonna grab A and pretend like I'm gonna straighten my hair. You see, instead of going down, I'm gonna stop here. I'm gonna grab section B. I'm gonna flip it and then A. I'm gonna flip A and then I'm gonna go downwards. This is so hard to explain, but hopefully I'm explaining it well. It's not that hard. At the beginning, it's gonna be hard, but then it becomes really easy. And then you grab your hand and you kind of like go like that, okay? I like doing this with the straightener because you guys already know if you have curly hair, you know the struggle. We have to straighten our hair first, wear it straight for a couple of days, and then curl it. So pretend this is a straightener. I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna grab section B and I'm gonna flip it. And once I do that, I'm going to flip the straightener as well so it looks straight. And then that's when I go down. So I usually listen to like podcasts, like scary stories, or I listen to music. So I'm going to put music. So I wanted to show you guys my OOTD of today. This is what I ended up wearing. This dress is from J Lux label. It's all the way to like my ankles pretty much. So I don't know if it's a midi dress or a maxi dress, but I absolutely love it. So that is what I'm wearing today. And then for my jewelry, I am wearing my Target necklace. This one is from Etsy. Target earrings as well in my Target, I mean my Etsy bracelet. So everything is Etsy or Target. So yeah guys, that is what I'm wearing today. That is the details. I'll try to leave everything in the description box for you guys. So I always see people sharing their fragrances. So I'm gonna do it for today's video as well. I love you guys, Aaliyah's face. So this is completely inspired by her. I absolutely love her. So I'm gonna be taking my K. Ali fragrance in musk. I feel like it's the perfect holiday scent because it's really, really warm. So that is what I'm gonna be using today. So here is the fragrance and then I'm gonna go ahead and spray this. You guys, you will think I'm actually going somewhere, but I'm doing absolutely nothing after this video. All right, guys, that is the finished look for today. I really hope you guys enjoyed this super glam get ready with me. You guys, I haven't done my hair that, like this curly in so long. It feels like old me is back or something. I love it. So thank you so much for hanging out with me and watching this video. I hope you guys are doing well. Happy start of the holiday season, you guys. Thank you so much for being there for me. I am forever grateful, thankful, blessed to have you all in my life. So then the see you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Honestly, from the bottom of my heart, thank you for being my friends. Part of my family you know at this point thank you for hanging out with me each and every single week you know and just being you know just amazing friends so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and go you guys hopefully you enjoy this get ready with me um give this video a thumbs up if you did and i'll see you guys on the next one bye guys <laughs>